Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a modded controller from scratch. Now, I can guarantee you there's no other tutorial like this on YouTube, and probably, yeah, you, you might be able to find one on the web, uh, written up, but this is probably the only video tutorial. So now, a lot of tutorials on YouTube, they show you how to, you know, attach an already programmed chip. But this tutorial will be showing you how to actually program the chip for yourself. Okay, so first off, you're going to need... Now, I'm not going to teach you how the coding works and stuff, but I will show you a program that automatically creates a code. So what you will need is this program right here, which I will put in the um, description, a link to download it. Okay, now in this program, you'll have the option for your left, LT, left trigger, and right trigger. And this will, um, these will be the different modes you'll have the option to create. Now, I don't feel like making anything for the left, so what I would do, this would be 10 shots per second. Then we'd have, that's a little fast. If it's too fast, like in games like uh, Black Ops, then it will get shut off. And uh, that's way too high. So you can pretty much customize it how you would like. You know, we can do three modes, two modes, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then the button that we attach would uh would cipher, you know, between all these. Cycle between all these. And uh so then once you finish all that, then you go down here. Oh and if it's on uh when you download it, it's gonna be automatically on French. And all you have to do is hit the um, British flag. Okay. So after you do that, then you'll customize it how you want it. Okay. So it doesn't really matter how it is right now for this tutorial. Okay. So then after you're done, you can do generate hex file. And then you will save it as a hex in wherever you want it. Um, I already have a few made, so I'm not going to even bother. Actually, for the purpose of the tutorial, I, I will do it. So, I will, I already made a, a folder on my desktop, and I called it Mod Codes. It's empty right now, so we'll just call this First Mod Code, and we'll take out the spaces. Okay, save. Okay, so now we will close this program down. And we go to mod code, and there it is, right there. We can't open it yet, though. So now, what you will need is a program like this. Uh, a USB, uh, it doesn't have to be USB, but a PIC programmer. programmer and... Um, Usually the pro uh, the programmer you buy comes with its own program, but uh, if it doesn't come with its own program, you can download a program called WinPic 800. Now my personal programmer does not work with this. He has to say says failed to open um, because it just is not compatible with it. So I'm gonna close this down and not use this. Okay, so. I'm going to switch to a regular cam, uh, a regular camera, and I'll show you how to attach the, the chip, and then we'll go back onto the screen and show you how to program it. Okay, so this is what a, um, a PIC programmer looks like. Pretty small, pretty basic. Now it's a little dark. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And that's the chip already attached. And you don't really touch anything on the back. Okay, so see, as you can see, the green light is on. Uh, so as you can see, the green light is on, but um, yours might not even have a light. It's currently which one you buy. But um, make sure the one you buy is uh, is compatible with 
whatever your operating system is, like Windows 7 or whatever, because a lot of them are not. Um, oh yeah, so you just flick this button up to uh, release the little chip. The chip has to be a 12F83. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's probably too blurry. But uh, anyway, it says 12F83. 12F683. I'm sorry, 12F683. And um, if it's not that kind of uh, programming uh, chip, then it's not going to work. Okay, so to attach it on the screen, it shows... On the screen, you can see it shows... they have all these numbers and we want the one that says 12F683 and this is how they show to attach it so if we count one two so if we count we have one two three four and then that's where we attach it so we look at this and we have one two three four and then Oh, and another thing, there'll be a little notch, and as you can see, that little yellow dot, that's that's the notch they're talking about. So we take that, see the little notch in there, maybe, and we put it right in the, put it right in the center. And then after it's centered, just we just lock it on by pushing it down and then it should be locked in tight enough so you, you actually pick up the whole thing okay and that's how it's done very simple now back to the computer because I know this is very shaky for you guys okay we're back on the screen uh, recorder sorry for that shaky video but it was necessary now um, as you can see um, we're on the 12F683 chip, so that's the chip we're using, and, um, the notch is facing upward, so make sure, um, it's the same on your hardware, and it's four slots up, so just make sure it matches the picture. Um, so now, what we gotta do is read the chip, okay, okay, so it can be read, now we gotta verify it. Make sure you do these two uh, steps, otherwise you could damage your uh, chip, and then it'll be useless. So data verified, so it's good. So now what we got to do is, um, we got to erase the chip. So erase chip. Okay. Do you want to? Yes. Chip has been erased. Okay. So next we got to um, load our code that we made earlier we don't want to save that and um, this is actually d different co uh, codes but we will use the one that we made earlier first mod code okay so we open okay now it already had that code on there because I was um because this is a, a chip I already used so it didn't look like anything changed but for you it will change because this won't all be up here so after that happens and we press program and as you see, it's programming. Pretty simple. Programming complete. So now your chip is ready for install, which will be the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And yeah.